well, you clicked on this video, which means you want to build this bad boy right here. Well, luckily in today's video, I will be showing you how to build the entire Five Nights at Freddy's movie pizzeria inside of Minecraft throughout three episodes. But in today's video, I will be showing you how to build the entire outlining for the entire pizzeria, which believe it or not, is actually a lot bigger than you would think. It's roughly the size of FNAF 2, I think, if not a little bit bigger, which is why in today's episode, I will be showing you how to build the entire outlining. In episode two, I will show you how to build the all of the walls and all the floors and the roof. And in episode three, we will decorate the entire place and add the outside of the pizzeria. But to get started, we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to show you all the materials that you are going to need. You are going to need bricks, yellow terracotta, gray concrete, cyan concrete, stripped oak wood, prismarine bricks, black stained glass panes, and insight walls, light gray concrete, blue terracotta, polished deep slate stairs, prismarine brick stairs, quartz bricks, light gray terracotta, smooth stone, polished basalt, basalt I, I don't even know, white terracotta, waxed oxidized cut copper make sure it is waxed and not just oxidized cut copper and last little but not least block of lapis lazuli that's all you that you are going to need so we're going to get started with the outlining on the inside of the pizzeria i'm going to start as if i'm on the outside so we're going to place one two three yellow terracotta just like this we're going to skip three over and we're going to go ahead and place one two three four five six seven eight just like that and right here, we're going to go ahead and place one end in sight wall and two black stained glass panes just like that. This is going to be the doorway to enter into the pizzeria. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our bricks and we're going to place one, two, three, four coming out from this end and place one going off just like that. Then with our gray concrete, we're going to go ahead and place one, two, three, four, five, just like that. And then with our stripped oak wood, we're going to go ahead and place one, two, three, four from the bricks, and it should be one block short of the gray concrete. Now, actually, wait a minute. Sorry. Other way. It should look like this. It, there should be a little gap between the bricks and the stripped oak wood. Then with our um, cyan concrete, we're going to go ahead and place one, two, three, four. And then skipping one block, we're going to place one, two just like this. So walking in, this is the reception desk that is going to be right here. And with our yellow terracotta, we're going to place one, two, three, four. So it should be a little square that looks just like this. And then we're going to have one coming out just like this. Now with our prismarine bricks, we're going to place one, two coming out like this. We're going to skip three blocks over and place one, two again. So there should be a three block gap right here. With our yellow terracotta, we're going to place one, two, three blocks just like this. And with our bricks, we're going to come on the outside of the prismarine bricks and place one, two, three. And then this is going to go um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to go ahead and bring this in and down. Just wait a little bit closer, one block closer. Then we're going to have it come out. So it looks just like this. Now, this is what the outline actually hold on real quick. Coming from these prismarine bricks, we're going to place one, two, three, four, and then skip two, then place one, two. Now, this is what this should look like for the main lobby area. Make sure to just make sure everything is in its place and it should look exactly like this. Now, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next area, which is actually this. We're going to come up to here real quick. And we're going to actually go ahead and place one, two bricks like this. With our light gray concrete, we're going to place one, two blocks. And then we're going to go ahead and place one, two bricks again. And then coming out one, two, just like this. So this gray right here is going to be a door that leads into the hallway to the office. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is place one, two gray concrete, just like this. And then we're going to go ahead and place one, two, three, four, five bricks coming out like that. And we're going to stop there for a sec. Actually, no, we're going to go ahead and place one, two more light gray concrete. And we're going to stop there real quick. And let's see, I think we got all that. We got this. Let's go ahead and let's grab our polished deep slate stairs. Now coming out from right here, we're going to go ahead and place one, two, three and then coming down one, two, three. Now there should be a three by two gap right here. This is going to be the prize counter area. Um, so that is what that should look like. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is actually come up and we're gonna place, we're gonna grab our bricks once again. And coming up from this one gray concrete right here, we're gonna go ahead and place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven at an angle just like that. Our stripped oak wood, we're gonna go ahead and place one right in the corner right here. Actually, you know what? 
yeah we're gonna keep that go we're gonna go ahead and keep that right there now after we have these seven we're gonna go ahead and place one two light gray concrete like that and then we're gonna go ahead and place from from this gray concrete we're gonna place one two three four five bricks just like that and our gray concrete light gray concrete one two at an angle like this and then one two three four bricks like this and then you just copy the same thing two light gray concrete don't going down and then two bricks coming out just like that this is going to be the bathroom area so we can have two bathrooms on either side this door will lead to the kitchen this door will lead to the kitchen and then this hall this door will actually lead to a hallway which connects to this hallway here now we're going to go ahead and actually build the outline of the stage so we're going to go ahead and place one two three yellow concrete that should look like this and then with our cyan concrete we're going to place one two three one two three one two three this is foxy stage right here and then ending it off with one two three yellow concrete yellow terracotta and it should look like this actually now once you have done that we're going to go ahead and place with our bricks coming out from this yellow terracotta one two three coming down like this and then one two three four yellow terracotta that looks like this and then using our cyan concrete we're going to place one two one two one and then one two one two so it kind of should look like this it should look kind of like a really stretched out u so that is what the shape should look like and then we're going to go ahead and place one two three yellow terracotta just like that and then right at the end of this one brick now we're going to go ahead and grab our bricks again and then place one two three four five six seven coming out like this and there should be Yes, that is correct. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our prismarine brick stairs. And what we're going to go ahead and do from this block right here, we're going to place one, two, sorry, sorry, one, two, one, two, one. So it kind of should look like an M shape a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and actually skip. Let's see. So we'll place these are temporary. Do not place these. So these are temporary blocks. We're going to have it just like this. And then with our other stairs, we're going to go ahead coming out from this block right here. We're going to place one block here, two blocks coming out. So it looks just like this. And then we're going to have one going down, then one across again. And then one, two, that should be going down like this, I think. No, sorry. One more coming out. So it kind of should look like this. So three blocks or three stairs, three stairs, just like this. And then we're going to have one, two. So it looks just like this. Now, if you look at it from the top, so I'm looking in this direction, it should look just like this. Now, we can go ahead and get rid of these blocks because these were just temporary. Or, you know what? Okay, we'll keep these right here for right now until we replace them. Just so, you know, they're, they're there for right now. All right. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to go ahead and grab our bricks again. And we're going to place one, two, three bricks like this. We're then going to actually go ahead and grab our blue terracotta and skip four blocks. One, two, three, four. Skip four. On the fifth block, we're going to place eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, yeah, eight right there. And then with our bricks, we're going to place one, two blocks right here. So this is what this should look like. And from up, and from up top as well. And now right here, we're going to go ahead and skip four, blo four blocks again. One, two, three, four. On the fifth block, we're going to place blocks until it lines up all the way with that end. So we're going to just go ahead and place this all the way until it reaches right here. And then just go ahead and connect it. So this should be a four block gap in between here, a four block gap right here. This is what the shape, shape should look like. And now we have the entire area of the main pizzeria now outlined. We're going to go ahead and actually outline the... Um, it's like in a little arcade area, so we're going to go ahead and outline that now. Now, the arcade is one block above everything else, so we're going to go ahead and start and place one right here. This is going to be the starting block, one block away from here, and we're going to place seven. So this is the first block. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then from this block, we're going to place eleven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now we're going to go ahead and stop right there. We're going to come over to here and grab our blue terracotta once again. This is also going to be one block up, so this should be right here. And we're going to place eight. So this is our first block. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then coming out from this block, we're going to go actually no. Coming out from this block, we're going to go ahead and place ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this is what it should look like. It should it should be three blocks. And then once we have go then then once we have done that, we're going to go ahead and pl um, place two just like this. We're then going to place one, 
one and then one two out just like this so this is going to be the kind of stepping into the ball pit area we're then going to go ahead oh wait there is one block that i did actually miss and that is blue concrete so grab your blue concrete and right here we're going to go ahead and place one two on this end one two just like this and then just go ahead and connect these up and it should end up like this so this is the ball pit this is the arcade area and this is the main pizzeria and the make sure the arcade is one block above the main pizzeria so it should look just like this now once we have done that we're gonna go ahead and work on let's see let's work on the stage area and make our way backstage so let's go ahead and start actually over here now we're gonna go ahead and grab our quartz bricks and we're gonna also have our bricks as well so let's start over by um foxy stage we're gonna go ahead and from right right at this block right here, no this block right here where the cyan concrete is we're gonna place one block up like this we're then going to place one two three four bricks like this so it should be there should be like a little gap right here this is kind of you know where foxy will get backstage then we're gonna go ahead and place one two quartz bricks right here and now we're going to come go ahead and come all the way down to here so right at here we're going to go ahead and go up one and place two so it looks just like this then we're going to go ahead and place one two three coming out like that and now from here this is going to go all the way to the end and let's actually go ahead and come up here and connect this so we're going to go down a block and we're going to place one two three so this is kind of where the stairs are going to come in and lead into the backstage so on this first one we're going to go ahead and skip one two three four and it should be right around here there should be a four block gap and this is actually going to be like this and we're going to go ahead and connect this in so here is the doorway this is what this is what this should look like and then coming from this block we're going to go up one and place one two three four so one block up from there is going to be four it should look something like this now we're going to go ahead and come back down to this end and just connect this right up to that end there so we're just going to go ahead and bring this all the way over to this end using the quartz bricks And there we go. Now that it is fully connected, this is the whole stage area and connected to Foxy stage. Now that we have this, we're going to go ahead and work on the backstage area now. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our bricks again. And we're going to go ahead and place one block here. And from this block, starting right here, we're going to place 14 going this way. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And it should stop right about there. Then we're going to go ahead and coming out from these bricks, we're going to place 6 one two three four five six just like that and then we're going to go ahead and place four coming out from here one two three four so this should be what it looks like actually wait all right so then once actually we have these three blocks we're then going to go ahead and place um five coming this way so one two three four five and it should just be like this so three blocks in total here five blocks in total here now coming from here we're gonna go ahead and go this way and place 14 blocks so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen then we're gonna go ahead and come up going at an angle this way we're gonna go ahead and go up four blocks one two three four actually no five five blocks just like this and on the fifth block this is going to extend five more so six in total so this is one two three four five six this is what this should look like and then we're gonna go ahead and send it six more down right here so then we're gonna go ahead and extend it six down one two three four five six now with our quartz bricks we're gonna go ahead and place one two with our light gray concrete we're gonna go ahead and place one two three and then we're gonna go ahead and place one two qu quartz bricks just like this now we're gonna go ahead and bring this all the way out we're going to go ahead and bring it out to here and then line it up exactly here so this is all of parts and service now and this is so far everything that we have now what we're going to go ahead and do is work on the hallways that lead around backstage and eventually around to the hallways and to the kitchen so we're going to go ahead and start over here now so we're going to go ahead and continue with our quartz bricks we're going to start on this side right here and we're going to go ahead and place one quartz brick here actually no we're gonna, sorry we're going to place 13 total quartz bricks so starting from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 with our light gray concrete we're going to go ahead and get rid of these two blocks come over to this end and get rid of these two blocks these are going to be doors and fill them in with light gray concrete so it should look like that then with our quartz bricks again we're going to place 15 quartz bricks this time 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And with our light gray concrete, come back over to this end, break these two, and fill it in with light gray concrete. So it should look just like this. Now we're going to go ahead and go to this end, and with our quartz bricks, we are going to go ahead and place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, just like this, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. So it kind of should be like a V, so it should look like that. And then with our quartz bricks again, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and place 1, 2, 3, 4. And then with our light gray concrete, place two more, 1, 2, and then place one more just like this. Now we are going to go ahead and place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it should look just like this. Wait, hold on. I take that back. Real quick, it's 5, not 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it should look like this. And let's see. This is the hallway. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is actually place one brick right here coming up from this end. And then with our light gray concrete, we're going to go ahead and place 1, 2. And we're going to grab our light gray terracotta. So our light gray terracotta, we're going to place one right on that end. So it should look like this. And we're going to go ahead and actually stop right there. Let's go ahead and act. No, sorry. We're going to continue on this area. Wait. All right. No, we're going back here. We're going to make this little tiny area that connects to the kitchen before we actually work on the kitchen. So we're going to go ahead and place one more block, one more quartz bricks block right here. Then coming from this block, we're going to place one, two, three. One, two going down, and then one right there. So this is this is where we're going to stop for right now. Then we'll go ahead and do the kitchen. Continuing from this hallway, with our quartz bricks, we're going to go ahead and from here, we're going to place nine going this direction. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just like this. With our bricks, continuing from this light gray, light gray terracotta, we're going to place one, two, three, four, a light gray terracotta, one, two, three, four, another light gray terracotta, and then one more. So it should be just like this, a little bit uneven, but that is how it is supposed to be. Now we're going to go ahead and make the hall closet. So we're going to go ahead and grab our smooth stone. And from this light gray terracotta, we're going to place one, two. From here, we're going to do the same, one, two. And then we're going to go ahead and place one, two, one, two, one. This is the shape of the hall closet. This, this is what it should look like. It is a little bit small, but at the same time in the movie, it is also pretty small. Now we're going to go ahead and make our way back to this hallway. We're going to go ahead and come out from one more, and we're going to place 12 bricks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. With our light gray um, terracotta, we're going to skip three bricks, break one, and replace it with our light gray terracotta. Now with our quartz bricks, we're going to go ahead and place 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That way it should be even with the bricks right here. Um, and if it is not, make sure that the gap is always four blocks wide between the hallways. Here it is always very difficult because, you know, this is at an angle. It's hard to tell. But in, as the angled, make sure it is three blocks, three blocks wide. One, two, three. It should be three blocks. When it's going straight like this, it's four blocks. So just make sure of that. Now, there's another room here, which also kind of leads up to the kitchen. Um, so we're going to go ahead and grab our quartz bricks and actually place one. Uh, we're going to start here, place one, two, come down one, place one, two again. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our polished basalt, 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 what, I, I don't know, what do you want to call it? And then we're going to go ahead and place five. One, two, three, four, five. Once we're done with that, go ahead and place 12 quartz bricks going that direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then once you have done that, we're going to go ahead and come right down to here, skip three blocks. One, two, three. On the fourth block, break three and replace them with light gray concrete. Now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and come right up to here, and we're actually just going to extend this right to the end, so it is lined up right there. Now at this now at this block, we're going to go ahead and just bring this right across, and we're going to grab our light gray concrete, break these three blocks here, and replace them like this. So now this is this little room here, and this is another door that will lead into the kitchen. Um, speaking of the... Actually, no, no, we'll do this hallway next, so let's go ahead... And we're going to go ahead and skip two blocks. On the third block, we're going to place one, two, just like this. And then we're then going to go ahead and place 12 more blocks going this direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Skip two blocks and place nine. That should end up right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, if something, just a quick reminder, if something does not line up perfectly, 
feel free to make some minor tweaks or minor changes. It's not going to drastically change the entire layout or anything. It's, if it's a very small difference, like say this is like one block off this way, just just shrink it up just a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect, all right? Um, now, continuing, we're going to go ahead and just fill this line up. We can go all the way to here. And we're going to grab our light gray concrete again. And we're going to go ahead and let's see. We're going to skip three blocks. So one, two, three. On the fourth, break these two. Place two light gray concrete just like this. And now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and outline the kitchen. So with our white terracotta, we're going to go ahead and actually fill in this part here. And we're going to go ahead and place one, two, three, four, just like this. And we're actually just going to go ahead and go all the way around um, almost the entire kitchen and just place white terracotta just going throughout the whole thing. We're going to stop right here, actually. Um, and we can go ahead and now, now that we have this, we're going to place one block here. And then we're going to have um, white terracotta come up all the way to here and then meet at this wall. So it should look like this. And actually, there is also two light, uh, light gray concrete like this. And then place the rest of the white terracotta just like this. Um, now that we have that, pretty sure that's that, uh, now we're gonna go ahead and come down over to here, and this should meet up, we're gonna place one, two blocks, just like this, so it kind of meets up here, place two light gray concrete as the door, and then we're gonna go ahead and have this come out by one, two, so two more, just like this, actually no, one like this, sorry, uh, one thing, light gray concrete as a double door right here, because this is a double door that leads into the kitchen, um, and just place a block right there. So it should end up looking something like this. Um, now that we have that, that is the entire kitchen now outlined. We're going to go ahead and make our way back down to here and actually make this other hallway that will lead up to the office. So we're going to go ahead and place one, two um, quartz bricks like this. And then right here, we're going to go ahead and place 17 quartz bricks going this direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And we're just going to go ahead and line this up right there. Break these two blocks right here and replace them, replace them with light gray concrete, just like this. And now we're going to go ahead and skip two blocks right here. Break two. Skip three blocks. Break two. And just replace these with light gray concrete, just like that. Now we're going to go ahead and build Mike's office. And this is where the um, waxed oxidized cut copper is going to, come, going to come in. So we're going to right off the bat place one, two, three waxed oxidized cut copper. With our block of lapis lazuli, we're going to go ahead and place one, two, three, four. Now, it's fine if this overlaps, because this door, this doesn't lead into any room, so you're never going to see it, so it does not matter if this ends up overlapping. Um, then we're going to go ahead and place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On this tenth block, actually, no. We're going to bring our bricks around, so now we're going to go ahead and place one, two, three. And then from this block, I just extend it right down until it meets up with the block of lapis lazuli. And then just bring this all the way till it connects. So this is what the office should then look like. Um, obviously, we will have the like the desk will be right here. So that's what this will be. And now that we have that, I'm pretty sure that is the entire pizzeria all complete. That is the entire FNAF movie pizzeria. Like I said, this is a pretty big pizzeria. It's almost, I would say, probably almost the same size as the FNAF 2, if not a little bit bigger. This is definitely a really big size, but other than that, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to my channel. The next episode will be building the entire walls and the floors for this entire pizzeria, along with the ceiling. So the next episode will be a lot longer than this one currently. Um, other than that, that is going to be it. I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more videos like these. And hopefully, I will see you in the next episode. See ya!